Let me show you how I turned a random AI image into this awesome looking brass biking coin. Step number one, we need an image to engrave. I don't know how to use 3D modeling software, so we're gonna use AI to generate one for us. I'm using Midjourney, but you can use your AI of choice. I ran a couple different prompts, but ended up using the prompt boss relief style Viking head with skulls and Viking ship behind it, round emblem. Pretty simple. Now, in order to do the 3D style engraving, we need to convert this image into a depth map. Today, I'm gonna to try out a program called Depth R, which converts regular images into depth maps for us. I uploaded my image, selected high detail, and let it do its magic. I could just engrave this design by itself, but I wanted to add a little extra sauce, so I opened it up in Adobe Illustrator and added some rune text around the perimeter. It doesn't actually say anything at all, I just pushed random keys on my keyboard. Now it's time to set it up in Lightburn. I used three layers. The bottom is just a tooling layer so I can accurately frame it on my coin. For the Viking image, most importantly, I selected 3D sliced for the image mode. Otherwise, I won't get that depth. For engraving, I'm doing speed 2000, power 85, frequency 60, 900 DPI, 45 degree scan angle, crosshatch with 256 passes. I also enabled cleanup, so after every two engraving passes, it runs one cleanup pass to remove the dust. The cleanup pass settings are speed 3000, power 20, frequency 100 with 900 DPI, and I also selected clean whole image. I don't know if running a cleanup pass after every two engraving passes is overkill or not, but it really helped me from burning my coin and also helped bring some of those details out at the end. For our rune text layer, I did speed 2000, power 90, frequency 45, 1104 DPI, 45 degree scan angle crosshatch with 30 passes. At the end of running the engraving, I'm running one clean pass at speed 3000, power 20, and frequency 100. Here's the 40 millimeter brass coin we'll be engraving, links to everything I'm using in the video description below. The laser I'm using today is my 60 watt OMG. She was out of commission for a little bit due to a busted red dot mirror, but we're finally back in action. All done and it took approximately 54 minutes to complete. Because I'm lazy and don't want to clean this by hand, I'm using my new magnetic tumbler, my magnetic tomb bear to be more accurate. I add some water and some burnishing compound and run it for about 20 minutes. Now is a great time to say I have no idea how you're actually supposed to use these things. I just make it up as I go along. Time for the yucky part, fishing the coin from the froth. 
cleaned up pretty nice. I would run it for longer if I just wanted to do a final polish, but we're gonna antique the brass to give it a more authentic look. To do that, I'm using this stuff called Brass Black. After letting it dry, I hit the raised surfaces lightly with some fine steel wool. I want to bring out the highlights at the top while keeping the deeper areas dark to create that contrast. Next up, I grab my Dremel and a felt polishing tip to shine it up. Looking pretty good, but not done yet. I finish it off with some Renaissance wax and buff it out by hand. And here's a look at our final result. Not bad at all, especially given the fact that I had to do minimal work to get that graphic set up for 3D engraving. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, I would greatly appreciate if you just tap the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and there are links to everything I used in this video in the description below.